people, 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 people. Que pasa, sac, pasé, what they do. The first thing that is popping in the news is an update about a story that I spoke about on several occasions. It involves a man, his name is Michael Kelly. He gave his house to sell to an agent slash lawyer, real estate agent that is. Her name is Tanya Walters Powell. At the time of that sale, when the sale was final in 2018, we are presently in 2022, four years later. The price of the house or the sale amount was $10.5 million or so Jamaican dollars. When the sales was final and this money was supposed to be turned over to this man, Mr. Michael Kelly, Tanya Walters Powell, who was the lawyer and real estate agent at the time, claimed that she got an email and the email instructed her to send the money, the proceeds of the sale, to a bank in America. That bank did not belong to the seller of the house. That bank account number had nothing to do with the seller of the house. That man gave her instruction. He gave her his bank account. All correspondence was based on the information that she had before. So how is it that she could have claimed that she got a he email that was hacked and she sent the bank to a bank overseas? I will speak about the bank that the money was sent to and what they had to say as it pertains to that. Anyway, when this occurred, the man contacted General Legal Counsel, which is the regulatory body that is in charge of people who have any sorts of problem with any sorts of legal, legal lawyer practicing in Jamaica. He filed a complaint. The complaint was delayed. They used all sorts of delayed tactics. After no sorts of positive results from contacting the lawyer slash real estate agent. Anyways, the case went through the General Legal Council and on in December of 2021, last year, the end of last year, they made a decision and the lady was found guilty. There was at least four charges, fraud, amongst other stuff. However, she was found guilty on professional misconduct. She was not charged for scamming the man of his money. She wasn't charged for fraud, which would be the major crime, which would mean that she would lose her license and any sorts of possibility of practicing any sorts of law in a Jamaica again, being any sorts of lawyer in a Jamaica. So people, I am going to let the man himself, Mr. Kelly, explains what took place as it pertains to the decision of the General Legal Council and what he feels about the whole thing and then people, of course, I am going to give it to the lawyer the general legal counsel, the popo that are involved, the whole system of injustice and crookedness in a Jamaica. So people, take a listen, take a look, and then I'll give my piece. Michael Kelly, I'm doing this video. It's long overdue, people. I know you have been waiting and wanting to know what has really become of this case with Tanya Walters Powell. Now, like I said before in previous videos that um, the mainstream media has, uh, has refused to put out anything on Tanya. Well, now let me hasten to say that this case has dragged through and come to conclusion at the General Legal Council. And uh, they have found Tanya Walters Powell guilty of professional misconduct people it's only because they could not have done otherwise why this happened let me refresh your memory now this the sale of my house has gone from july of 2018 
and have reported it to the fraud squad. And Tanya Walters Powell also reported, but she report this matter as a simple larceny. People have gone to fraud squad, have gone to CTAC, have gone to Indicom, have gone to MOCA, Inspectorate, Prime Minister, um, Fitz, the, the head of CTAC, Fitz Bailey, and I make report about the sale of my house and the fraud that has reached me and people to date an investigation has not launched in this matter. I also got the Cayman Island Financial Crime Unit to do an a review and a, of my of my um of my hard drive and they send the report back to the fraud squad in Jamaica. People that went missing have called the, the, the officer who is in charge and inspector of police. Right now he have even refused to answer my call. People, Tanya Walters, Paul has got a politician, a senator in government, to represent her at the General Legal Council, which should be the disciplinary committee of a liar. People, there are so many experiences I have there, but I'm just going to share a few right now because one video will not hold this, but I'll do a subsequent video. We have gotten the bank manager people to come to GLC and bring with her all the transactions that Tanya has gone through. Tanya Walter Powell has tampered with her receipt from the bank. People, yes, tamper with the receipt from the bank. And when the bank manager come with the original receipt, it's totally different from Fatania Walters Powell own. Yet still, people, the, gen the disciplinary committee of the General Legal Council threw that out. But people, we have gathered several dates at GLC with our computer to go in our computer and show all these emails that we have sent to each other to date that has not happened. However, the politician and his team get a so-called computer expert, a young man, and bring him to assess Tanya's computer. People during the time of assessment of Tanya's computer Time and date of email has been changing in her, in her email. That was also pointed out to the disciplinary committee of the general legal council. Nothing it means to them. Also, people, the so-called expert, give Tanya Walters Powell name as a hacker. That's her name that come up in the hack when he do his investigation. That also means nothing to General Legal Council Disciplinary Committee. People, the ruling they give to date is that we are both victim. We are no victim. Tanya is no victim. Tanya was not hacked. People, Tanya, deliberately send my money away. And that's what the General Legal Council Disciplinary Committee failed to say to the public and to me and to everybody. I want the General Legal Council to prove me wrong. People, I have gotten an a report from Hotmail. Hotmail was the platform that both of us have, me and Tanya. And Hotmail report says that there wasn't any hack. General Legal Counsel threw out that report saying that there is nobody from Hotmail to be cross-questioned. People read between the lines. Tanya report the matter people to the police after my instruction as a simple larceny. Since then, she has not followed up with the police. She has done nothing. 
no people GLC general out that report saying that there is nobody from at mail to be cross questioned. People read between the line. Tanya report the matter people to the police after my instruction as a simple larceny. Since then she have not followed up with the police. She has done nothing. No people GLC, General Legal Council Disciplinary Committee, said she should pay me back my money. Now the pay that they are requesting for her to pay me is the exact amount of money that she has took in 2018. People, 2018, the Jamaica dollar to the U.S. was about 133. Today, the, the, the money people... The U.S. dollar, the Jamaica dollar to the U.S. is about 153. We are talking about inflation here. Now, people, like you hear the man say, when this incident occurred, he contacted everybody, bloggers. I was the only blogger that took up the case. For some reason, other bloggers did not choose to talk about it for whatever reason, personal reasons that they have. He went to TVJ, CVM, radio, TV, any and everybody and their mother. And nobody chose to pick up this case until now. After the conclusion, it was recently in the newspaper. Don't remember which one. However, people, we have to understand. Jamaica is really a banana republic. Jamaica is no less than Russia or one of those places. Freedom of speech is not really freedom of speech. These traditional news medias, everything is politically driven. So therefore, if them talk, they might not get to practice or do whatever they need to do. So therefore, there is always repercussion about the media talking the truth in Jamaica. So tell me if there is any sort of democracy or free speech as it pertains to that. That is that. The next thing is that... The General Legal Council that is supposed to be the regulatory body that is supposed to make sure that these lawyers keep on the straight and narrow path, not the crooked path. They are facilitating the F-U-C-K-R-Y. And people, this is obvious body body club once again. Because here are the facts of the case. This lady was charged for fraud or that was one of the things that she was accused of she got the man's money she spoke to Mr. Kelly before he gave her instruction on who to send the money to however she opted and claimed that the money was sent to some account overseas in America people the bank came to court the bank testified in courts, in front of the GLC, General Legal Council, that listen, the money that was sent was sent back to her. It was not sent to Mr. Kelly. He mail or hot mail came in or sent a letter, a certified letter, that listen, we did not see any sorts of hack. That account was created by this person, meaning she and her combola. There was no sort of hack. This account did not just pop up out of the blues. That email was sent indirectly or directly from Mrs. Walters Powell. So therefore, the bank come and talk. General Legal Counsel swept it under the rug. Email sent a certified thing with their response. The bank claimed, the, uh, sorry, GLC claimed that they were not there to talk, so therefore that was thrown out. Here is the next thing that is so despicable. This lady was charged or guilty on just professional misconduct, not fraud. Wouldn't that be a clear case of fraud? Wouldn't that be a clear case of dishonesty? No, GLC overlooked that. They said that she was not guilty. They claimed that there were two victims in this case. Meaning Tanya Walters Powell 
whose email was hacked and gave her false information instruction to send the money to this person. However, people, she has not yet proven. As a matter of fact, there was a cyber expert independent of the GLC that came and said that there was no hack. She was the person that the money was sent from and the person that the money was sent to. Something like that. However, the lawyer for Tanya Walters Powell and the GLC had some sort of cyber expert, some little young boy, look like them bribe him, look like them give him some sort of money, look like them tell him exactly what to say, and he came into court. No sort of experience versus the experience of the persons overseas that testified. GLC sided with that cyber expert. Now people, like I said, the man contacted Top Popo, SeaTac, every and everybody. And nobody wanted to settle the case rightfully. Nobody wanted to do any sort of investigation. So therefore, they were covering up. As it pertains to the lawyers for Tanya Walters Powell, she or he is a political man. Some sort of counselor. So people like me tell you, this is where the politics comes into play with everything in a Jamaica. The body body club. So therefore, he corrupted the case as it pertains to the Popo, as it pertains to the GLC, as it pertains to CTAC, as it pertains to everybody that is involved in the case because of his political affiliation. So people, when you look at this case, as a matter of fact, at this case, a top lawyer, his name is Christopher Thounsan, he came in and he gave character witness for this lady and said that she is a hard-working, honest lady. Now people, remember, this is a lawyer that has a reputation in Jamaica, so it only shows you that these lawyers are willing to to put their career on the line, willing to take up for their crooked friends. However, people, why you think that is? There is no repercussion with anything in Jamaica. Like me say, Jamaica Banana Republic. Crooked country, one of the worst. Me hear Mr. Orange Man from America talk the other day and say that you have some place that is a SHIT whole country. Jamaica is one such place and I know that when I speak you always have some like a sensitive B-I-T-C-H in my comment section. Proof otherwise because this is yet a next case of clear banana republic point blank and period. So people when you look at the entirety of this case it is obvious that the GLC is a fraud, CTAC is a fraud. These top lawyers in Jamaica, they are frauds. The popo in Jamaica, they are frauds. They are crooked. We cannot take them seriously. So it tells you that this lady can still practice law. This lady can still represent clients as a real estate agent after there is a clear case that she is a crook without a shadow of a doubt. The only reason why she is practicing because there is no source of law. There is no source of justice. So therefore, the body, the regulatory body that is supposed to keep these crooked lawyers in check, they are just as crooked as them. They are a piece of SHIT. The whole system is a piece of SHIT. Point blank and period. Now people, here is a funny thing. The sale of this house was 10 point something, I guess, minus her commission would have been 9 point something. So therefore, the court said, pay back $9.3 million and also a fine of $250,000. $150,000 goes to Mr. Michael Kelly. $100,000 goes to the GLC for what? I don't have any sort of idea. So people, me just I say, at the end of the day, this is obvious what is going on in Jamaica. At the end of the day, if you sell your house to any sort of lawyer and that lawyer is collecting the money, they can rob you blind and they will get away with it because they have the backing of the popo, they have the backing of political influences, 
they have the backing of the GLC. It is one crooked body body club and people. This is yet a clear case. Point blank and period. So people, the moral of the story is this. When this house was sold, like the man say, the Jamaica dollar was 130 something. At the time of the decision, it is 150 something. So therefore, 20 dollars different. So how is it that the court is going to say 3% interest and then she has six months to pay it back and then they are telling this man he is not supposed to say anything because she was also a victim and you are not supposed to defame her character. She has zero character. She has zero credibility. The GLC has zero credibility. The whole Poor, poor force in Jamaica, zero credibility. The political hacks, zero credibility. So therefore, we are basically doomed. Dog eat with supper in Jamaica. Point blank and period. So anyways, people, that is my views on the whole thing as it pertains to that. And like I say, it is just my views and opinion. It is not the gospel. Your views and opinion can be respectfully different from mine. But let me know what you think in the comment section. Bless up.